Hi, this is Tina Bakehouse. I'm on the top of our roof right here in Maple, on Maple Edge Farm, and I'm with my dear friend Jude Trader Wolf, a dear friend who does awesome things with improv and storytelling. So Jude, tell me a little bit about what's important about storytelling, why people should tell stories. Well, when people tell a true story about something that they've been through in their lives, um, they, it's some, it, it could be a, a, an ordeal they went through, or it could be the most exciting thing that ever happened to them. It, one, it helps people deal with struggles, and it helps the rest of the world understand a struggle in a way that maybe they didn't before. Um, it's a way to celebrate yourself, and a way to share a little piece of your soul yeah, with, with I, the world. Absolutely, and what do you think is, um, we have talked about the importance of storytelling, storytelling events, how is that important for communities? Well, when uh, storytelling events bring out local people to hear each other share about something hilarious or something tragic or something inspiring or something empowering that everybody can relate to and everybody is having that same emotional experience in the same space um, and that builds up community that makes people connect you know emotionally connect and connect to a, an idea bigger than yourself sometimes. So I think that's really ultimately what storytelling can do is help us connect with one another. And what is the and then one last thing I want to know is what is a skill that we can learn from getting out there and sharing a story or with with improv the things that you've learned in terms of you know how can we um, if we do a more improv more storytelling how does it make us better whether it be with communication or or another skill set. Well, probably the most um, important skill in life is listening because if we're actually listening to other people, we care about them, even if we don't necessarily agree with pe what people are saying, but we'll understand each other if we really listen. And telling a story and having someone else listen to it is one of the most um, honoring uh, experiences one can have. So to listen and to, to share something that other people are listening to, that's how we can grow connections. So not only should we share stories, but we should listen. And this is another fun rooftop chat with Tina B.